Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day today and as you can see from this menu here, there was a new update that came out for the game but it was mostly just the VR, uh, uh, update for the VR stuff so there's nothing, there's no new objects or anything I don't believe like we can have a quick peek here but the latest one was still this moon here next to Rhea here. I'm, I'm not even going to try pronouncing it because I've tried and it didn't go well. So yeah, this is the newest object I believe with a texture but by the looks of it, nothing else has been added, so yeah, that is that. But anyways, before we get started today, guys, with um, today's idea, which you probably already read from the title, just a many, many thanks to everyone who has subscribed recently. We're closing in on 1,800 already, so I really, really think we can get this 2,000 goal before the end of the year. But anyways, enough of that out of the way. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, or, or consider it. <laughs> right, anyways, so... Let's, um, actually, no, I don't need change simulation, but yeah, anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding UI Scotty, I think I said it, yeah, US Scotty into the solar system, but what we're going to be doing is, if we just quickly pause, we're going to make it the radius of the sun, but it's still going to have the same mass and luminosity and stuff like that, so this was an idea one of you guys commented ages ago, which I never got around to doing, I don't think, so we're going to go ahead and do it now, so... Yeah, here's the sun, so we need to make it exactly the radius of the sun, but we have to keep the mass the same. So if we turn this option off, lock the mass, then we want to make this one sun in radius. Then we want to replace the sun with this UI Scotty, and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to press one like that. So now we've got the same old UI Scotty, but in a much, much smaller object. So it's exactly the same size as the sun. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place it pretty much inside where the sun is. So exactly in the same spot there. Then we're going to select the sun. Then we're going to delete that. So now we've got UI Scotty as our sun. So then we're going to just go ahead and select the whole solar system here. We'll just do it in the normal solar system for a change. So then we'll go to Auto Orbit. So now they should all start orbiting the new UI Scotty because that's the best we can do it. Because if we don't press Auto Orbit, the planets all drift off or they crash into the star or something like that. So we'll delete the asteroid belts. And there we go. So, first things first. You can already see the star is a different colour compared to the regular sun. And the Earth is lit up in more of an orange light than the regular old sunlight this is more slightly more orange if you can see there and also the star is slightly darker in color so it does make that little difference because it's less or it's lower in temperature than the sun by about 2000 degrees so anyways we're going to slow down time to a few minutes because it probably will only take a few minutes for this star to start roasting anything so we'll go to mercury first because this will probably be the first victim so as we can see we're at 53 minutes so we're going to go ahead and press play and damn that literally, I pressed that and played it for about a few seconds, so it probably played about a few minutes worth of time in reality here. And Mercury is already being vaporised, so I'm guessing the same with um, Venus and Earth as well. Yeah, Venus, Earth, oh no, Earth, how is Earth? No, we've got to turn off climate mode, that usually fixes it. Mars as well, you're burning up, but not as hot as Mercury and Venus. Venus is probably the hottest here. Anyways, Earth, wow, look, at, look at that, look how quick it just, that's insane. So there's that. You can see Ceres is going as well. Poor, poor old Ceres. Wow, this is pretty crazy stuff. Jupiter. Jupiter's at 2,000 degrees from that. Wow, that's pretty insane. Anyways, Mercury. I'm guessing this is just going to completely vaporize, honestly. I don't see how Mercury's going to survive with this star. So let's go and have a look here. Is it going to survive or is it just going to pop into nothingness? Because that's probably what's going to happen here. Yeah, as you can see from the radius hit, it's just vaporizing. Poor, poor old Mercury's going down. So, it's going to get turned to absolute dust. So, if we just watch here momentarily, Mercury is going to completely vaporize. So, yeah, and any second now, as soon as it turns to meters instead of kilometers or kilometers, it's just going to completely disappear. So, any second now, yeah, meters, and it's about to go any second now. Come on, okay, there you go. And Venus as well has also lost some mass, as we can see here. It's only got 13 masses of moon left compared to its original size, so yeah, that's also got smaller. Venus looks like it's lost its atmosphere. Yeah, look, it has. And the reason I could tell that is because the temperature had gone down, so... Yeah, that's that's cooled down, so maybe Venus will survive at this distance. It could be possible. Earth as well. Earth's still uh, um, doing fine, actually. Look at this. Its atmosphere is still there, yep. It's hotter than Venus because it has an atmosphere, so it's definitely got that extra greenhouse effect going on. 6,000 degrees, but it's not lost any mass, it doesn't look like. If we look here, mass loss, if we look at mood, it's, ba it's barely losing anything here. Overall, it's lost 0. Point, yeah, a lot, so it's barely lost anything, any mass at all. So there's Earth, so I'm guessing Mars as well hasn't lost much mass. Oh no, it looks like it is. You can see some particles are coming off it. So yeah, Mars's mass is yeah, it's losing a bit more than um, Earth is, but it's taking a very, very long time. So we're going to go ahead and speed up time here, so... 
we'll put it to about five days just to see if anything happens but it looks like Mars is going to be completely fine I want to say so yeah Venus yeah it looks like Venus has completely just stopped so now Venus is just permanently at 4000 degrees even though it reflects 88% of the light it receives so that's pretty crazy stuff Apparently it has a very high greenhouse effect, but doesn't even have an atmosphere, so I don't know how really that's going to work. Ceres, ooh, Ceres is, um, looks like it could be losing a bit of mass here. Yep, Ceres is losing mass, but is it getting any smaller in size? Doesn't look like it. So it looks like it's losing material. Anything happening here? Well, it's 100% silica anyway, so I don't really see what's going on there. Any of these other objects out here? Well, actually, um, yeah, enough of the inner system. Let's check out the outer system. So, Jupiter, there's no way these guys are going to lose mass. They're, they're just too far away from the star. So, that's pretty weird. What's this object here? Can you see that, guys? What is this Euro... I don't even know how to say that. Where is this thing? Oh, it's some bugged out object. Let's go ahead and delete that. I don't know what's going on there. And that was in the regular old solar system simulation. I haven't even changed simulations. So that's pretty weird. Yeah, so there's series again. Okay, so Saturn, how are you doing? Okay, 1,600 degrees, so getting colder, a lot further out. Uranus, 1,100 degrees. Oh, it's the regular Uranus. I like my custom one a lot more than that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Neptune, how are you doing, buddy? My favourite planet. Okay, 800 degrees, so not, not too hot out here. And that Euro, what is this object? You see that guy? Delete? There you go, go away, get out of here. That's pretty weird. Alright, so there's Neptune. Pluto. Oh, Pluto looks like it's decreased in mass a bit, or size, I'm sorry. Look, it's only 900 um, radius here, but usually it's um, bigger than that. If we just compare it to what it should be, um, Pluto should be this big. So it, has, it looks like Pluto's lost a bit of mass there. Has it lost mass? Yeah, look, if we can see here, it's lost over 1.53 masses of moon overall. So Pluto has lost some mass. So that's, that's pretty scary stuff. So yeah, even Pluto, at this distance from the star. So if we look, just turn off all this quickly. Then we just delete all the particles. Oh, you can see all the planets glowing as well. That's pretty cool, actually. It didn't. The game never used to do that. It's been doing it for quite a while, but it's pretty cool to see it like that. So you can see there's UI Scotty there. So if you just want a quick um, check up of UI Scotty, so the only thing that's different is the radius, like before. So I guess the density, the mass is different, surface temperature is different, luminosity is also different because it's a lot, lot brighter star. So if we check the Hattable Zone here. It's probably have a giant, giant ring. So. Yeah, there, there's the Hattable Zone, so every single object in the system is too hot. So as you can see, every single object here is glowing. It's pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, there's that. So where's Sedna? Right, Sedna? Sedna, Sedna. Oh, Se wait, is Sedna okay? Where's Sedna? Come on, Sedna. Looks like Sedna. 400 degrees, but Sedna isn't molten rock. So this is probably the only object in the system, and obviously Planet 9 would be as well if it was in here. And, yeah, Sedna is the only object which is not completely molten rock. So that's, that's pretty interesting stuff. And this colour on Sedna is really horrible. Let's change it to a more sort of reddish. Now, that's way too bright. Mm, does that work? Mm, shouldn't tend to spend too much time messing with this anyway. But, yeah, Sedna is a lot better than, like, a darker sort of red, I'd say. Let's, uh, let's quickly have a little play with that. Oh, well. <laughs> um, there you go. That looks slightly better. Not the best um, Sedna. My custom one's obviously the best, but... Yeah, that's alright. We'll leave it like that. Sedna's always meant to be a dark red planet, or dark red dwarf planet anyway. Well, that's the way we think it is, I believe. So, yeah, there's that. All these, Even this object out here, so, so, so far away from U.S. Christy. But even this is losing mass. Like, you can see these particles here. It is losing some mass. If we look here, very, very slowly, but it is losing mass. It's losing, um, obviously, moon. It's a very small value, but kilograms a second, I believe that means. Wait, is it kilograms a second? Wait, does it say? I think that's kilograms a second. So... It is losing mass very, very slightly, but I don't think its radius is really going to get affected from this. So, yeah, there's that. So, if we go over here again. So, there's Ceres. Inner solar system, anything up with you? Looks like Earth's the hottest planet in the solar system now. So, if we get a line-up of everything here. So, we've got our UI Scotty. Then, we've got all the gas giants from going from hot to cold, as we can see. Then, here, we've got Earth as the hottest planet. Then, we've got Venus. Oh, no, that's Mars. Okay, Mars is bigger than Venus now. So, there's those two guys. Then we've got all of the regular old dwarf planets. Then we've also got Ceres there, also super hot. A lot of these dwarf planets, there's a lot of particles being sprayed out here, as you can see. So, it is affecting the system, but it may just take a long time. What is going on here? Vesta! Damn, buddy, what's going on with you? You're losing a bit... Yeah, Vesta's losing mass quite quickly here. Yeah, but not really much in moons, because obviously it doesn't have moons in mass, but I wonder if that's going to eventually get smaller. It'll be interesting to see. And then we've just got all these guys. There's a lot of particles being lost here. A lot of mass, sorry. Um, so, pretty interesting stuff. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the um, 
here, yeah, the inner area here. We're going to hit play, or not hit, not hit play, we're going to speed up time. We're going to see if anything happens, because if not, we'll just end the episode there, since we've seen pretty much what happens. It looks like if, if US Scotty was the size of our sun and in our solar system, Earth wouldn't get destroyed according to this. It Maybe it would lose a bit. Or, no, Earth hasn't lost any mass at all, which is pretty weird. If we look here, it's losing just tiny, tiny bits, like... It's losing barely anything, like 0, 0.0, the tons of zeros, 0 0.548 moons. And then total mass loss, it's barely lost anything. So, either it would take Earth a very, very long time to vaporize it, and I'm probably talking millions of years here, uh, I'm get, I'm assuming. Or it would never vaporize, because it's not really losing radius, so if it's not losing radius, it's completely fine. Same with mass, not losing mass. But Venus, on the other hand, did lose a bit of mass, but it is hanging on in there. It, with the temperatures, the only thing it's changing, the radius and mass are completely the same. The mass loss is still there, but it's barely losing anything. Look at that, it's lost over 4.09 masses of Earth, apparently. Don't know how that works, since Venus never had four masses of Earth to begin with, but I'll roll with it. <laughs> That's pretty weird, actually. Because Venus only has a mass of 62 moons. Does, does that mean, though, that these settings are not accurate? Maybe, maybe the um, Earth one here isn't accurate, because... According to this, 4.09 masses of Earth have been lost. That which doesn't make sense. Unless it lost the mass, then it gained it back, maybe. That's the only thing I could say. But to me, that's a bug. Because that's that's pretty weird. Anyways, uh, Mars also doing the same. But yeah, this looks a little more realistic in mass loss. It's barely lost anything. Um, and the radius is still the same. So it looks like the only things that were affected was Mercury, which completely disintegrated into nothing. Venus, which lost a bit of mass, because it clearly got smaller, so it did lose some. Earth, is, Earth and onwards is completely fine, it looks like. Well, and then we did have Pluto lose a bit, but maybe that's just a bug in the game. Because sometimes when you load simulations with Pluto, it's a little smaller. But this was the regular simulation you get when you log into the game. So Pluto should be the correct size. That's pretty strange stuff. But yeah, there we go. That is what happens if UI Scutty is our sun. So, Or is our sun with the same settings as UI Scutty apart from the size. So yeah, there's that. So yeah. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure if oh, blah, 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 make, uh, uh, wow, I, I suck at outros. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So January the 1st. Let's see if we can do it. Or actually, no. 20... Wait, was it? Well, I, don't, I can't even remember. What, what's the last day of December? Oh, 31st. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm so dumb. <laughs> yeah, so if, yeah, can we get it before um, the 1st of Jan? Because that, that'd be cool. But, yeah, that's, that'd be amazing. I just cannot, I can't believe we've got this far. Like, I never expected to get 1,000, honestly, or even 100. Like, it's just absolutely amazing. Just cannot thank you guys enough. We owe, I own this whole, ch owe the channel to you guys pretty much. Like, pretty crazy stuff. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't still be doing this, honestly. But since it's going well, I'm going to keep making videos because you guys seem to enjoy it. So, and uh, yeah, and I enjoy making them. So, yeah, there's that. Wow, look at the planets, like the glowing objects go around the sun. That's pretty cool. If we just look from a, a sky bird view here, that's just pretty cool. Like you can see, there's um Ju or Saturn there, like the glowing specks around the star. Those look pretty cool. But there's that. Look at that. That's cool. And also, guys, I'm thinking of a channel name change at 2000. So tell me what you think of this. I think I'm gonna. Call Do you think the um this or the channel name Neptunium guy sounds good. That's just an idea I thought about, because someone said Neptunium something, I believe. Maybe in that, actually. But someone definitely said Neptunium something. I did like the name of it, because obviously Neptune's my favourite planet. So, yeah, you guys tell me. Do you think Neptunium guy sounds like a good channel name, maybe? I'd have to, like, change the or change the name, which wouldn't be a problem. But should I do it? Like, let me know in the comments. But anyways, um, that's enough of me just um, dragging the video on now. So, yeah, I'll end it off here. So, make sure you guys all have a good day. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.